Hello, Gemini. Welcome, welcome to your mega. I'm eating, so please don't come for me. The girl have to, you know, keep her energy up. <laughs> so, mm. hope you guys are doing very well. We're going to jump into your mega really quickly. Um, I'm going to do three swatches. Is it three or four? I'm going to do the pre the present, um, your energy, their energy, and plus the future. So that's four. Um, I also want to inc include a new thing that I am using to see what kind of person is coming into your future, what person you're meant to be with, what their quality is like, and what to watch out for. Mm, these are so good. But let's get into it, y'all, real quick. Okay. Gemini, please. Gemini, please. Thank you, angels. Why is this thing, like... <laughs> All right, let me move it. There we go. Gemini. Going on for Gemini in the person that they're thinking about, please. Thank you, angels. It looks like it's gonna rain, you guys, but I love the rain. I'm hoping it does rain because I've been watering my grass for so long now. <laughs> it seems like for weeks. So I'm glad we've been having like hundred degree weather in Atlanta. It's been hot, you guys. I'm sure it's hot outside right now, but I haven't been out there, so I'm happy about that. <laughs> okay, so let's see what's going on for Gemini, please. Thank you. Mm, the Ace of Cups. You have the Knight of Pentacles. Then you have the Star. Okay. All right. I feel like this person that's coming in is definitely someone that you have history with. There is nothing new about this relationship. It's just that this is, a, I'm getting like this person is from your past. This person is like reminding themselves of how things were with you. They're remembering like memories of what they have done with you back in the day and how you made them feel. And this is what they're thinking about. And I feel like for some of you, you're actually feeling this person as well. Okay. You're feeling this person. You're also remembering a lot of things that happened. Um, this could be a soul tied relationship. I'm, I'm definitely feeling like this person deceited you or betrayed you. Okay. We're very cold with you. Definitely didn't show any emotions when was necessary or didn't chase you when it was necessary. Like you could have been waiting for this person to come back and they took their lovely time, but that doesn't change the fact that you still have some kind of feelings with this person because the six of cups is in the upright. Okay. So you're feeling some kind of way, but with all of that said, I'm definitely feeling like this Ace of Cups is in reverse because this person was moving very slowly when it comes to a legacy or when it comes to, you know, a real relationship, a real connection here. But they do look at you like their star here. They do value you. They do appreciate you and they feel very good with you. You know, um, they don't have any bad feelings towards you. It's just how they are moving is very slow. And then, you know, you feel like, you know, this is never going to come or this is never going to work because this person is taking forever to give you that solid foundation. OK, all right. So can I can I have more, please? Tell me more about Gemini. Thank you. Tell me more about Gemini. Thank you. Hmm. All right, I'm 
the back of the deck, I see blockage here. So you guys are not speaking to each other. Um, there's some kind of connection here that is just like you haven't talked to this person in a while or you guys know each other for a while and you just decide to block this person and keep it moving. All right. So I'm definitely seeing like someone is, you know, like this ended for this reason, like somebody at work, somebody was getting too friendly with someone at work or somebody got involved with someone at work. Um, this person was definitely moving very slow towards a legacy or build a foundation with you. And this is what occurred here. You felt like this person needed more time to grow and to develop and to find out what they truly wanted. I'm seeing your energy shift and you're trying to protect your energy. You're looking at this relationship as a dud, like you don't want to continue this process or to find out if there's any way that you guys can actually work this out. No, you don't want to hear anything. I feel like there's a message that's going to come towards you in the future with this person and um but it's going to be moving very slowly here so again this is a problem that you have with this person they tend to move very slowly i'm getting capricorn virgo or um taurus energy i'm also getting scorpio cancer or pisces energy i'm also seeing aquarius vibe here and you know this person you know, just have a lot of issues within themselves when it comes to confidence and just showing up and being real. Um, I'm definitely feeling like there is a soul tie situation here, okay, where you guys are definitely thinking about each other, mirroring each other here. And we're going to go back to the Six of Cups. Hmm. Look at that. Confirmation. Confirmation of soulmate connection here. This person is thinking about you. You're thinking about them. You guys are in separation. There was a mistake that happened here. This person really made you feel like they used you in a way. And because of this, you're like your emotions are just like, you know, you're hiding whatever you might feel for this person. Like you don't want this person to know anything when it comes to love. Okay. You're not trying to get them back or have them in your life right now. You feel like this person really hurts you. I'm seeing like somebody's moving forward with something like this person wants to work this out, but there is a malicious energy as well with this, like whatever I have to do, I'm going to do in the magician. And this could be moving forward in some kind of black magic or spell work that this person is putting on you. Be very careful with that. I hate to see the magician in reverse here, but I also feel like, you know, there's this, this a lot of things that this person could be doing. And I also feel like this person could be, you know, having sex with a lot of people with three of pentacles here that is not protected, like they're not protecting themselves. I'm free, I'm seeing two different, um, yeah, look at this, two different energies. We have twin flame soulmate connection. So this person was with someone, this person left you in the five of pentacles, abandoned this relationship, you know, probably kicked you out of the house and you had to get yourself together because you didn't have anywhere to go for some of you, or you had to, you know, build up your money because this person left you with a lot of debt and went away with this situation that didn't even last. Like they jumped into it. Look at that. Jumped into it head first, thought it was brighter on the other side kind of thing. And it didn't work out. Hmm. I wonder if they told you that, that it didn't work out. <sighs> this person, let me see what the angels have for you. All right. Can I have some messages for Gemini, please? Thank you, angels. Some messages for Gemini. <clears throat> Mega. Like somebody's like, this was a mistake. I did. I made a mistake. I ruined this relationship. You see? The five of pentacles and that name. Like somebody made a decision that was not, that was just, mm -mm, wasn't a good feel. Okay. For Gemini. We have helpful people. Okay, let's get some messages from the white deck as well. <clears throat> Gemini. What's going on for Gemini? Ooh, okay. We have, we are soulmates. Wow, look at that. 
I just like confirmed that with you, and, you know, and here we are. I am not coming back. Somebody is like in their feelings. I'd rather not come back to this. This is like giving me a heartache. <clears throat> wow, let's see what's on the back of the deck. I can hear and feel you so strongly. Wow, this person is mirroring you in the Two of Cups. Mirror in you. Can I have some messages for Gemini, please? Thank you. Thank you, angels. Okay, so I'm definitely feeling like you're going through a lot. Some of you want to hold on on this relationship. Some of you um, don't know if you want to stay or to go like you're in your head about this. And I feel like, you know, you're watching something fall apart, something that you have put so much investment in and it's just falling apart here. And the angels are letting you know, like, you can't, you can't, you can't water this tree anymore. Like... It's going to fall apart if you like it or not. Just let go and let flow, okay? Let things die and let things start up again. That's number 18. But anyways, let's talk about your angel's numbers first here. The angel numbers, angel cards. We have choose a new direction, get more information, be assertive, and you're ready, okay? So I feel like for some of you, you're definitely like, okay, you know what? I have tried to be in a relationship. Maybe this is not something that I want. Maybe this is some, something that's not going to work. And I feel like this is a relationship that you are actually ready for. You feel like you're doubting yourself because of everything that you're going through and you're you're feeling like you want to walk away from something. And when you want to walk away from something, you you think that you're just not ready for it, right? So I'm definitely feeling like the angels are saying, wait, take a moment, take a breath, relax. You are ready. It's just that this person is not ready. So don't doubt yourself. We are with you, okay? We have all the guidance around you, the stars are aligning, you are ready, all right? They want you to stay focused on other people, not to be in their business or anything like that, but there's going to be energies coming towards you for advice or either a conversation or some kind of like, you know, I want to hang with you. I love your energy. You're so positive. And they want that kind of energy around them, okay? They want you to be that person that, that you know, is going to be there. Whatever they need, all right? I'm not saying to sell drugs or anything for them, but you know what I'm trying to say, in a positive light. Um, and the angels want you to be used and be a service. So the more you service yourself to others, the less you um, will worry or think about this person, and the angels can work faster in your life that way, okay? Then you can get more information here before making a decision. So there's something that you don't know about this circumstance or this um, situation that fell into play. And there is going to be information that is going to be sent to you. And they want you to choose a, a new direction to solve this thing, this thing. So some of you might just say, look, when I get information, what I do, if I don't like it, if it's not positive, I'm adding out. But the angels are bringing this word like they want you to like use a new direction here to solve things whatever you're doing before it's not working because i see like some of you are blocking blocking this person or stop talking to this person and just moving on with your life and what's on the back here injustice because you felt like this person was unfair to you you felt like this person you give you gave you cups that was empty like they knew they couldn't fulfill your cup in the present moment and this is what's going on here like you don't want to be, be used you don't want to feel like this you want to actually have a real relationship that you can talk about and be proud about right and this person is just wasting your time so this is why you felt like you had to block them okay so we have some cards down here okay 
All right, so I feel like for some of you are going through some healing process, whether it's to get to know who you are again. I feel like for some of you got lost in this relationship or lost in any kind of relationships that you might be in. Um, for some of you, you're thinking, I need to be in a relationship because I'm a better person while I'm in it. If that makes sense, I hear people say that all the time. And that's like weird to say that anytime you're a better person, or a happier person is when you're in a relationship with someone. And that means that you don't know yourself or your value and what you truly want in life. So what's going to happen? You're going to end up experiencing a lot of things and get lost and don't know who you truly are and what you truly want. So I'm seeing like a lot of you are taking that advantage to this, this time for yourself to mentally get prepared and to actually find out what you truly want with the number 32. Then we have number 43 here. And I feel like a lot of you, you know, want to go out, be free, party, you know, meet new people. Maybe you're ready to date again if you're not interested in making this work. Since you're just blocking this person or walking away from this person, I'm seeing you actually like trying to jump back into something really fast. And you need to be careful about this, okay? Because like I just said, I'm getting in my head that someone is saying, I'm a happier person when I'm in a relationship. Someone does not like to be by themselves watching TV or Netflix in their living room by themselves, being in their house by themselves. They always want people around them this way. I mean, I understand, you know, you need some people to, you know, get you out of your bubble or your feelings or whatever that may be, but not all the time. You have to be comfortable within yourself, you know? You have to be comfortable to be alone sometimes, all right? It's good for the body, good for the soul. <laughs> All right. I definitely feel like there's going to be new friends coming over or you're going to make um, you're gonna, your energy is going to shift and it's going to have like a lot of people coming into your life, which is a positive light and take you out. You know, you're going to surround yourself with positivity, with friends, with new beginnings here. And that's something good. Maybe, you know, entering a new class that you can learn something new about social work or you know, just painting again or being creative. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be in a, a better headspace, okay? Um, I'm definitely feeling that you are someone that definitely likes to fix things, like to stick around because I'm getting like these two cards here. Well, let me just tell you number 43. I got 32, 43, 19, 36, and we also have 18. All right, let go card. But I also feel like, <sighs> hmm, like you need to look within yourself and fix what's going on within yourself because it says right here gold, but it says you don't need someone else to fix you. So you need you to fix you. You understand? You need to look within yourself, value your space, value your friends, value your family, value the people that love you, you know, embrace these things again, travel and meeting people, you know, taking on relationships that messed up and you're trying to rebuild. I'm also seeing, you know, finding a place for yourself, a home for yourself that you could call home again because of some of you are leaving a situation which was very toxic and putting an end to that. All right. So let's go in because it's already almost 20 minutes and I haven't even done your person's energy yet gemini if you guys made it to 18 18 go ahead and like this video give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel period so you know youtube can go ahead and push this through and have this video be successful on here all right so the channel can be successful oh my god we reached 38 k's you guys i cannot believe it we reached 38 k's i cannot believe we're so close to 40 what all right thank you so much for all y'all love and support by the way you guys are amazing i am so so happy you guys make my day honestly so thank you thank you thank you you have no idea um where am i missing a deck okay so we're gonna use this deck i just want to see what your person have to say what energy they got going on okay all right, so what's going on for Gemini person's energy? What is their situation when it comes to Gemini? Thank you. Ooh, 
All right, we didn't even get to shuffle. What is this? The Five of Wands. So the energy is that the first card that actually came out, y'all, is the fighting card. Like, you guys are not seeing eye to eye. I'm seeing like you're fighting for this person. Like, you're fighting for this person's attention. Like, there's other people in play here as well. And you're just like, we did not get along with anybody right now, okay? And this is constant. This is what I'm hearing. The situation is constant. Hmm. Hmm. This is what this person is saying. Like, there's way too much arguments and conflicts. But they're not choosing. Oh, it's a third party. Hmm. Whoa. Whoa. They're saying it's a third party and they're not choosing. Do you see this? Yeah, it's a third party. You know about it. You know who this is. And they're not choosing. They're going to stick with it. They're going to juggle you both. So this is something that you need to be aware of. And I feel like you do because you block this person. You're saying this is why they're not ready to be with you. But yet, you know, <laughs> this is something that happens a lot. You're saying it's a cycle. Like this person put you through it, but they're trying to, um, they know your worth. They're looking at you as a nine of pentacles, like somebody very stable and attractive and very, um, like a glowing, ready to commit, you know, all this good stuff, a great foundation, but you're saying this is a, a cycle. Like you don't feel like you want to invest in this person. And this is what they're feeling. Like this is, they're like, I look at that. I look at Gemini as somebody that is accomplished, financially stable, but this is something that this person can't stop doing. Okay, this is something that this person is like, this happened before with this Wheel of Fortune. Tell me more for Gemini. What's this person talking about? <laughs> because, bruh, this person got it twisted. Can you say selfish? Mm hmm. Okay, I could, because that's what I see. This person is selfish. So I'm saying that the love is in reverse here. So obviously, you know, this. This is this person's situation. I'm feeling like this person, it, they want both. They want to juggle both. And it's like confirmed here. This is what they're saying. Like this Ace of Pentacles, this Ace of Cups is in reverse. Like you're not giving this person a time of day, no new beginning. You're choosing self here because this person is selfish. This person knows all about this. They're saying you're choosing yourself because, you know, of course they're selfish. They're not giving back because you want their them all to yourself and they want to share themselves with other people. They realize that you're walking away here in a six of the swords. You know, you, they cause you a lot of pain and anxiety. You had to walk away from them. You had to do this for your mental state. This was important to you. Um, this person caused everything to come out of control. So you could be having people calling your phone, arguing with you. You know, people with the five of wands. Here we have the seven of wands. It's like, come on now. Even if you do decide to leave this person alone, you're still going to have people calling you and trying to find out where they person are because... If they get rid of you, they're going to be somebody else to fit, fill the, you know, fill the scene right here. This person just love to have somebody to juggle. This is what this person's problem is. They love to have, you know, another person in the picture. They're always looking for something. That's what I'm seeing. They're never fulfilled, you guys. The two of Pentacles. They're always looking for another opportunity. Mm-mm-mm. 
I'm seeing the hyperon here and I'm seeing the ten of pentacles in reverse. So you're moving forward with a separation. I'm not seeing divorce here, but I'm seeing moving forward like there's a decision is making to make, move forward for ending this um this legacy, this thing that you guys worked on worked for each other. I'm seeing the six of pentacles, I'm seeing the high the high priestess as well. So your intuition is kicked into this. We have the devil here. We have the three of cups. Confirmation about this third situation. So, so some of you could have knew this person or it was a threesome at first for some of y'all. Like y'all were all sleeping together. That's what I'm hearing. This person is addicted or have an addiction towards you. They can't stop. I'm seeing like this person can't stop. Thinking about you, wanting you. They're always in your damn ear. Or trying to be but i'm feeling like if this is not a third if this is not like a threesome situation which it it's like in the upright y'all this is a like a toxic situation like somebody's having a threesome here that turned into something devast like devastated like somebody decided to sleep with somebody behind somebody's back here that's what i'm getting like you're supposed to do it together and y'all end up doing it <laughs> when y'all not around oh my goodness that's why I don't share my person, because, bruh, I can't share. I'm sorry. I'm a Scorpio. I don't share. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Nope. 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 But, you know, you are, like, I'm getting, like, you're in a good place. Like, they see you. Like, they think that you're in a good place. Like, you're just giving back to people. Look at that. Giving back to people, helping people see you know, deal with other things. You're not entwined with what's going on within you. You're you're just listening to your intuition, trusting yourself, trusting your gut, trusting the universe and putting it in the universe hands and moving forward. And this is what the universe wanted you to do. And this is what this person is saying that they see upon you. So let's go in and see your energy is um, Gemini towards this person. Okay. Cause this person's energy they got it twisted let me tell you mm -hmm. all right what's going on for gemini what's gemini's energy towards this person what's gemini's energy towards this person Gemini's energy towards this person. Mm, two cards came out. All right, so we have the Ten of Pentacles, we have the Hangman, the Sun, and we have the Two of Wands in reverse. Hmm. So I feel like this person is like letting everything lie, okay? They're not making any moves or no action towards, you know, trying to rebuild or trying to make this work or to save this connection. This is what I'm seeing here. You know, this person is realizing a lot of things that happen, you know, their happiness. Like they're watching their happiness fade away here. They made a wrong decision here with this two of wands. They're realizing that, damn, you know, they wanted to see if there was a, a brighter sun on the other side. But they're bringing up the, like you're bringing up the, this person did this to me. Like, you know, the family didn't mean anything. So you ended it. Okay. This person didn't chase after you. They just let things lie. You know what I'm saying? And they made the wrong decision for themselves. Their happiness wasn't important. You felt like this person wasn't even happy with you. This is what you were saying, okay? Then I have the Eight of Wands, and then I have the Page of Cups in reverse. This person didn't even apologize to you, all right? They came, for some of you, I'm getting like this came to your door, or they called you or texted you, and the, the conversation was like, what? Why are you even calling me? Why are you calling me and putting things on me? You calling me, you reaching out to me and you're you're being like this. You have the ace of pentacles. Yeah, y'all y'all decided to get in a divorce, started to leave each other. 
That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing end here. I'm seeing the Queen of Pentacles. I'm seeing the Ace of Swords. I'm seeing the Ten of Swords. You are like, you're letting this go. Before you were stressed out about this. This is what you're saying, Gemini. You were stressed out about this, but not no more. Not no more. You did the work and you on your way up. You know what I'm saying? You're on your way up. You're going to block this, this person's energy very, very, like... This person not going to even know what hit them. Like, you're in a good place. You're not even mad about this no more. But you don't want this person in your life. You don't want no kind of clarity. You don't want nothing. This is what you're saying, Gemini. You don't want nothing from this person. You just want to make your money and move forward. Cross watcher, I'm sorry for you. Gemini is not having it. Then we have the nine of swords. We have the king of swords here. Wow. You know, there is some kind of, like, I'm getting like this person could be, definitely coming off as a Gemini, Aquarius, or a Libra energy. We have a lot of different energies here. We have Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy as well. Um, this person, it's like they're going through a lot of depression and a lot of sleepless nights. It's like they're blocked. They can't get to you. <laughs> but you are letting a lot of things go. This person trying to mess with your mental state. That's what you're telling me. And you're like, you're not having that. You're not having that. And I don't blame you. I don't blame you, Gemini. Okay? So let's see here. Wow. That's a confirmation about this soulmate connection. Everywhere. All right, so we have the Five of Cups. This person is going to live in the regret. They're regretting everything right now, regretting what they have done, regretting, you know, this relationship ending. They're just like, wow, look at my destruction. You know, this person needs to be careful. The angels are not playing, you know. I'm seeing the king of wands here. This person is going to definitely come back to you or try to make it work. I see the knight of pentacles, but they can't find, they can't give you no foundation because I feel like when this was over, you took everything. You probably have the children, everything. Okay, somebody have custody. Somebody have all the money. All right? Man or woman. This person is coming. Well, I don't like they got confidence on the outside. But they don't got no money. I feel like they're going to try to approach you for some kind of money. I'm seeing the two of cups here. I'm seeing the knight of wands in reverse. So this person wants to reunite with you, wants to start over, but they don't have no confidence within themselves when it comes to the wands and the pentacles. Don't got no money, don't got no confidence, but act like they're the king of, the king of wands. Ain't that something? And then we have the six of wands and then we have the world here. So you're looking at this person like... It's a dunzo. Like, you don't even look at this. This person, you look at this person like somebody that you don't want to talk to, be with. They really, really lie to get where they are in life. You know? They look, they, they want to be praised. They want to be loved. But the truth is, they're not in your eyes anymore. This is completed. This whole thing, you feel like this ended in the way that you wanted to end. This person feel whole with you. I'm going to say that. This person feels some kind of feelings for you. All right. So let's do your future spread with this person, this energy. Real quick. And then we're going to see where your um, feeling lies with this person. Okay, Gemini. All right. So let's put these decks where you need to be. All right. All right, what's going on with Gemini and this person in the future? What's going on with Gemini and this person in the future? see this oh my goodness okay so it's about this ten of pentacles 
remember we talked about the ten of pentacles where you guys ended it okay for some of you could have a contract together like a child all right and this is something that's going on here like this person i'm seeing like someone is like getting over the sleepless nights the anxiety the attacks you know feeling like they have made a huge mistake into their lives they're letting a lot of this feelings go okay i'm seeing the lovers here as well i'm seeing the world here as well i'm seeing the sun so let's keep going you guys to see what's popping because we have the ten of pentacles in reverse I feel like this person, if anything, wants to start over. They definitely want to reach out. They miss you. This is what I'm hearing. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. So, they miss you. They're going to call you or text. You're going to see, like, unknown numbers coming up if they're scared. But they really, really want to get back on track with their relationship. It's about this Ten of Pentacles, like I thought. In the future, they want to work on this. They want you back. Well, Gemini, I don't know what you're going to do because I don't know if you're going to take this person back. But they really miss your physical aspect. They miss kissing you. They feel very content with you. Remember when we saw that that world? Like I told you, they feel very content with you even though you're looking at them like a waste. Look at You look at them when they reverse with the Six of, with the six of Wands. But for some reason, the Six of Wands is coming back in the upright in the future so i'm feeling like this person is like trying to prove themselves to you like you're moving by yourself you know when it comes to this person like you don't want this person to know anything that even if you have any kind of feelings towards them you just don't feel like this person is ready to be in a relationship with you and i feel like again gemini aquarius or libra energy with this air quality, they're rushing towards you, trying to be with you, trying to fight for your hand. I feel like this person can, tends to be jealous of you as well if they see you with someone else. They feel like you're highly praised here. Like you get a lot of things done and you're highly rewarded. People are just like so in love with you and see you for who you are and you're just this hard worker. They feel like, you know, of course they bring a cycle into your life, but they feel like luck is like, you know, everywhere with you like they could accomplish anything they could get things done with you they feel like you keep them on a straight and narrow path but there is this card of the five of swords where this person devastated you and you know they didn't have any emotions while they were doing it so it's like okay they have all these good thoughts about you but when you look at them you see this five of swords you know they're trying to destroy they're trying to destroy you that's what you're feeling. That's what you're seeing. Like this person is trying to destroy you in the future. You, this, I mean, and they're probably not. It's just that that's how you see them now. It's like the relationship is tainted. That's what I'm hearing. Like this relationship is tainted. Hmm. Look at that. They don't want to juggle no more. You see that? They don't want to juggle no more. They're overwhelmed, ready to make a decision. Mm -mm -mm. Gemini, you must be laughing. Hmm? At this person. Really. They messed up the family. They messed up the foundation. They had you choosing yourself. You make making sure that you, you know, it's all about you. And, you know, they probably have a problem with this too. That it's all about you. That you made this all about you. And you had to because if you didn't, you would be in a freaking mental institution somewhere. Okay? Dressed in white. Dressed in white. But I'm definitely seeing like, even though you're very smart. Because even though they're making a decision about this, I don't see they're putting any form of action toward this. And I, and, and that's the reason why is because you block them. Okay. You're blocking them in every level, but they're going to try to get to you because since they left you, honey, since they made this decision, they lost everything when it comes to a foundation, when it comes to money, when it comes to a home, they're probably sleeping in their car somewhere at their friend's house. Honestly, they don't have nothing in their the new new um apartment or whatever they got going on. They ain't got no furniture. Look at this. We have the the Ten of Cups in reverse. It's like you're tying up loose ends with this person. In the future, you're tied up. This is all about the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. You're tying up loose ends. You're making sure that it's this permanent situation in the future. Like you don't want 
anything to do with this person rather than what y'all got going on right now. So if y'all got kids or a dog that y'all sharing or something, you're just co-parenting. That's about it. Co-parenting. If you got a business that y'all sharing or y'all invested in, y'all co-parenting that too. Y'all not trying to be, you not trying, you, you Gemini not trying to be with this person. Look at this. I just shuffled. Temperance is back again on the back of the deck. Ain't that spooky? Ain't that spooky? Let's let's see, Gemini, what's the future person the angels got for you, okay? What is the future person that Gemini is supposed to be with? Can I have three cards for this person's characteristics, please? Gemini, I look to look, need to look out for that's coming through Gemini. The person that's going to be with Gemini. That they're going to have a fulfilling relationship with in the future. Oof. This is a lot. But I'm going to take what, you know, rolled over. We got the lovers. So this is a passionate connection. It's, this is kind of scary because you got the lovers here, Gemini. And then you got the lovers right here. Twin flame connection, honey. Um, hmm. All right. Tell me. Can I have three, two more cards, please? For Gemini. Okay. Okay. Let's see here. We have the high fronds. We have the moon. I feel like this person is very secretive or this person is holding back a lot of their emotions when it comes to you. Um, I don't feel like this person tends to tell you exactly how they feel. They're very like... They're looking. They're just looking at you, observing a lot of things and not really sharing. Very secretive kind of person. But yet, I'm getting that this person is clear-minded when it comes to you, okay? Very clear-minded and know what they want. Stick with it, all right? Moving forward. I'm feeling like a lot of people might be around this person, all right? And trying to control them, but they're very strong. They're a strong person. They're not going to be let anybody control them. In the high priestess being here, okay? This person is very passionate about you, all right? Whoever this is, very, very passionate about you as well. This person could be another Gemini, honestly, with this lovers here, okay? Um, another twin. <laughs> I'm getting twin flame, y'all. Connection, Gemini energy, okay? So... I'm feeling like they're very passionate about you. They want to be with you. They need to be around you. That's what I'm feeling here. They have a, like this whole, they, they feel like they're, they, like they're wanted. They finally found their other half. This is how they feel when they, they're going to meet you or they're going to see you. Now, this is a little scary because this lovers are already here in your reading okay gemini energy and that's a twin flame right there so i don't know if this is the same person it could be y'all <laughs> if that's uh lord this person is putting you through it tell me more now three cards please Regarding this connection. Look, you're getting that card. Hmm. Okay. I'm feeling like there's some self love and awareness that's happening here. Now, Gemini, I already feel like you've been through this um this situation because the 32 card is coming up again with self love, self awareness, and I feel like this is something that you're doing. This is something that you're already aware of, but the angels just want you to confirm to stay in it because this person is not done yet. Okay, I'm definitely seeing like forgiveness is necessary here, like letting go. Um, I'm seeing like. Somebody might be giving you roses or flowers and you're not sure about this person again. This person, Gemini, you're probably dating a day on your own sign right here. Okay. Which Gemini Aquarius Libra energy. I'm feeling like you are ready to provide in a relationship or to give or to be the strength of the relationship. I feel like you're ready to go away. You're ready to maybe, 
you know, just start fresh to relax. Like you're ready to be a lioness. You're ready to, to find your king, your, 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 you know, your lion, the one that you want to be with, the one that you want to have that romantic feeling with, the one that you want to have that connection with. All right. And that person is coming, but I don't know. This is scaring me that this could be the same person. So we got number 13, 10 and 32, if that resonates for you. All right. So let's see what your um, energy is like and your person's energy. Okay. Ooh, my goodness. Gemini. It's always a twist in your arena. I tell you. I tell y'all. Since I've been reading y'all, it's always like a little twist. <laughs> I'll be like, yeah, you go, Gemini. And then I'll be like, you going back? What? <laughs> oh, that? Uh-uh. All right, Gemini, please. What's Gemini's energy towards their person, please? What's Gemini's energy towards their person? Thank you, angels. What's Gemini's energy towards their person? Ooh, you're taking your lovely time. You just don't, you don't trust this person right now. You can't. Gemini, you have the hangman. You know, you making them come to you. You ain't coming to them, period, point blank. I'm feeling like you need some time to think, some time to find out the truth here. You're not making any kind of movements towards this person. And if it's a legacy, it's because there's something to do with a child, some kind of communication. Like you're just moving very slowly to this person. You're not trying to rush to them. You're not trying to be with them. You know, there's a possibility that, of course, with all this history and this fire, you know, in you and this passion for this person, this attraction for this person, I should say that, you know, you guys might find your way back to each other, but you're not trying to make that happen any sooner. Okay. Any sooner than necessary. Um, what's this person's energy towards Gemini, please? What's this person's energy towards Gemini? Thank you. This person's energy towards Gemini. Thank you, angels. Mm, wow. The Ten of Pentacles. Now we know who the Ten of Pentacles is important to. <laughs> I feel like, you know, this person is still going to come to you and have a lot of secrets and, you know, not trying to tell you the truth, Gemini. I mean, you already know this. You already feel it. You know, you ask them a question and they bring holes around you instead or trying to go around you with all them swords. Um, and you feel stuck in this connection. This is what they're planning to do. Continue to do the same thing and you're continuing to try to find out the truth of what this person is hiding. You see what I'm saying? You can't make this stuff up. And then you have this person's energy coming towards you, you know, trying to, you know, work things out, but don't know which direction to take. You know, the chariot is in the middle of all this. Like they want to come to the family. They want to make this right. They want to be successful. They want to go into battle with you. They want to, you know, win the war with you. But some Something is holding this person back because of the lies and betray. And what is holding this person back? Hmm. Let me see. Let's see. Hmm. A lot of things that this person is doing, honestly. There, it's like a lot of people that they're holding back. A lot of things that they have they're doing that they don't want you to know about. I could like, dive into this stuff, you know. They don't want you to know a lot of things. They want they want to come towards you. They want to see where things go with you. Um, but they're stuck into something in the death. They just cannot understand. And they're moving forward, acting like everything is all good. I'm seeing like, you know, moving forward towards this relationship with all these history. This is you. You're beaten up. You're tired. You're, you're abused. You're abused. Not abused, but you know, like you're just tired of this person and their bullcrap. And they just still want to fight for this connection. And this is why they're trying to be protective. They don't want you to know things in a nine of wands here because they've been cheating. Cheating for somebody. Some of y'all, this person probably got somebody pregnant or something. Honestly, they've got somebody else. If they don't got somebody pregnant, they got something that they worried about worried about and your situation is <laughs> you waiting for an apology that not that's not coming to you 
That's what it is. You're waiting for an apology that's not even showing up. Because you know this person owes you an apology and they haven't even gave you one yet. Not a good one. You're just chilling by yourself. In your own feelings. You know? You're stuck too. You ain't trying to move on. You're still waiting on this person. Be careful with that, Gemini. Y'all both in a death in the reverse. At this relationship ending, y'all not together, but y'all still waiting for each other. Somebody. Y'all waiting for somebody to make the first move. <laughs> Anxiety, everything. Listen. You can't live like that. You gotta let go. Let go, let flow. All right? So let's see what the angels have for you. With some messages and close this reading out, y'all. All right. I also want to use some white, some white messages and see what we got with that. Okay, what's going on for Gemini, please? What's going on for Gemini's? What's going on for Gemini's, please? Mm, communicate, commit, no opportunity. Why not see abundance? Listen to your intuition. Then we have big, happy changes. Oof, I like that. So I feel like, you know, the angels want you to be open. And not too open when you're telling everybody your business on the block. But I feel like they want you to definitely be open and not, don't be afraid to ask questions or ask for help if you need it. All right. Don't try to do everything on your own. That's what I'm hearing. Because a lot of you have a lot of responsibilities or you were trying to hold up this whole um, relationship by yourself. I'm seeing opportunities coming to you. So whatever you put in for or whatever you're working on with your hands, I'm seeing abundance. Something is paying off. Yep, money is going to come in and flow. That's what I'm hearing. Listen to your intuition. Go with your thoughts. If you feel like something ain't right, it just is not. It's just, it's not. You got to learn how to trust yourself again. Because the big and happy changes are coming your way, honey. Big and happy changes are coming your way. You're going to have it all. Okay? You're going to have it all. All right, so let's see what messages. Your, this could be your energy. This could be your person's energy. Just take what resonates. Don't try to fit what does not. Okay? All right, so Gemini, please. Gemini's energy. What's going on for Gemini and their person in this connection? Gemini energy. Okay. One more shuffle and then we're done. Maybe another one. I like it to be shuffled, y'all. Thank you, angels. Am I going to get a good one? Okay. <laughs> this is the best as we could go. Okay, so we have, I'm trying not to lose faith. You hear what I'm saying? I'm trying not to lose faith here. Okay? Somebody's telling you this. We need balance. I'm watching you when you're not looking. Someone is definitely not over you. <laughs> okay, I'm struggling right now. I've been getting this card a lot. I want to be inside you now. What? What is this? Y'all, what is going on with y'all? <laughs> Somebody want to be inside you now. Mm -mm. Okay. I don't want to talk to you. Somebody, two different energies here. Look, we, we need balance. I'm watching you when you're not looking, okay? This could be you or your person, but I'm feeling like this Gemini is your person right here. I'm watching you when you're not looking. They're doing drive-bys. I'm trying not to lose faith. I feel like that's your person right there, all right? Because you're so over this relationship. I want to be inside you now. That's your person, definitely. I don't want to talk to you. That is you. I'm struggling right now. This could be either you or your person. 
Let me put that in the middle. Could be a mutual thing. Okay. <laughs> All right. What else we got? <laughs> okay. Okay. Will you marry me? What the hell? Somebody is really thinking about this at this time in this relationship. I'm definitely going over here with that. And then I have, I miss those sexy lips. Whatever they mean by that. All right. All right. I am not coming back. That's got to be you. Oh, my goodness. All right. What else you got? I'm not available. Somebody clearly moved on here. All right. We have you make me happy. Okay. And let's do a few more. <laughs> you and I were too young. So you met this person when you were young, huh? Trust is needed in this relationship. Mm -mm -mm. Without trust and communication, you have nothing. I love your scent. Something about the way this person smells. Okay. I left when I saw you with someone else. Ooh. All right. So on the back of the deck, you guys, I look for... What, what is it? I can't... Okay, hold on. <laughs> Girl, get it together. I look for you everywhere. So this person is still into you. Do you see what I'm saying? Like this person is still into you. I look for you everywhere. Ooh, all right, Gemini. This is what I see. This is what I see in your mega. This is what I see. Let's include some numbers real quick. And wrap this baby up. <laughs> Because I feel like this person is clearly having a hard time. Like, I'm struggling. Now I know. I feel like it's this person. Mm-hmm. Wow. 21. For Gemini. Oof. Gemini, you got messages. What's going on? 17. Oof. All right. I, thought, I saw a card coming out. Gemini. Oof. Oh, my God. Okay. Father, what is this? Wisdom, okay, tell me more. Gemini, please. Oof, my God. We have, we have two or one, two. It looks like two here. Is it two? Yeah, we have 60 and we have 54. All right, on the back of the deck, we have sickness, you guys, 28. So for some of you, you definitely need to make sure that you're checking on yourself, like you're keeping your health up, like you're, you know, taking care of your body, because guess what? You only have one. Um, nobody's going to do this but you. All right. And nobody's going to appreciate you the way you appreciate yourself. You know, even if they call you bougie, let it be, because I don't think a lot of people know what bougie actually means. Bougie people don't go to Red Lobsters. Okay. Okay. Bougie people don't go to, you know, those kind of restaurants because they're called, they're considered low class. They're called the middle class, okay? The Red Lobsters restaurants, okay? Bougie people go to those restaurants where you have to fi have $500 for one plate. That's bougie people. <laughs> so let them call you bougie because I don't think they know what it means, okay? Period. So... We have number 21. We have growth here. Number 17, bag blockage. We have 64, father. We have 39, wisdom. We have 60, completion. We have creation, 58. So somebody, you know, I'm getting also sickness with this. I'm seeing somebody sick because somebody sick might be pregnant, going through um, a change in their bodies maybe morning sickness and they're just sick like this pregnancy is just driving them insane like it's not going as well as they thought it would go um that could also be what i'm getting with that but there's some kind of completion happening here right like some everything is going to come together very shortly growth is happening here like this situation died and you're going to find growth it's like you're turning into a negative into a positive situation remember when i tell you about communication y'all if you don't have communication how are you going to have success it doesn't even matter if it's this person or not 
Okay, you're going to have to apply it to your next relationship if you're deciding to block this person and bring a new one into your life. I'm seeing some father energy, some um, masculine energy that needs to be here. Something about a child. Remember, this is a confirmation. I kept saying like somebody might be pregnant. Okay, period, point blank. If you made it here to 59, y'all, please thumbs up that video. We're going to have some communication that's coming to you, some conversation with somebody like an older energy guiding you, letting you know what's really going on here, trying to help you through this. All right. So be prepared for all for these changes to come up. Some of you, you might be, you know, creating, maybe opening a business. It doesn't have to be pregnancy, but, you know, it is what it is. All right. Some of you might be just, you know, experiencing new businesses, new things that's happening, new opportunity. But I feel like this person, like for some of you, are definitely creating something that you're not ready for. OK, there's going to be a completion here. Somebody's winning the game or somebody finished something. I feel like something is finished. Let's get two more cards real quick to make it even because I'm looking at this. I'm like, ah. Okay, Ooh, what is this? What is this? Okay, we have number 49, number 74, and 45, okay? So I feel like you people going to be planting seeds and trying to make things grow. I'm seeing investment here, all right? I'm seeing elements coming together. I'm seeing like, um, I'm seeing things tied, like, Something is going to be like this. Whatever you guys are going through, it's just going to make sense in the long run. I'm seeing answers being here. This is just an extra card. So we do have 21, 17, 64, 39, 60, 54, 49, 74, and 45. If that resonates, okay? So I hope it resonates, guys. I'll see you guys in your next one. Just remember to like the video as well. Give this a big thumbs up if you made it here to 101. 101, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Remember to like the video so YouTube can push the videos forward into a bigger audience, y'all. I'm going to end this video here because they're going to take a while to upload. I hope the first one already did, but knowing these hour-long videos, they take a while. Love you guys, and I'll see you guys in your next reading, guys.